It's What to Read Wednesday, and today I'm talking about Noggin by John Corey Whaley. Travis died at the age of 16 after a long battle with cancer. However, before he died, he agreed to be a test subject and have his head cryogenically frozen. Now, it's five years later, and Science has advanced way faster than his family and his friends thought it would. Travis is back. He has a new body, and now he has to come to terms with the fact that while he was away, life kept going. He's still 16, but his friends and his girlfriend are not. Um, this book will have you laughing, and it will have you crying. I'm going to read just a short passage to you right from the beginning of the book. Listen, I was alive once, and then I wasn't. Simple as that. Now I'm alive again. The in-between part is still a little fuzzy, but I can tell you that, at some point or another, my head got chopped off and shoved into a freezer in Denver, Colorado. You might have done it too. The dying part, I mean. Or the choosing to die part, anyway. They say we're the only species on the planet with the knowledge of our own impending doom. It's just that some of us feel that doom a lot sooner than expected. Trust me when I tell you that everything can go from fine and dandy to dark and depressing faster than you can say acute lymphoblastic leukemia. The old me got so sick so fast that no one really had time to do anything but talk about how sick he got and how fast he got that way. And the chemo and the radiation and the bone marrow transplants didn't do anything but make him sicker faster and with much more ferocity than before. They say you can't die more than once. I would strongly disagree. But this isn't a story about the old me dying. No one wants to hear about how I told my parents, my best friend Kyle, and my girlfriend Kate that I was choosing to give up. That's a story I don't want to tell. What I do want to tell you, though, is a story about how I suddenly found myself waking up in a hospital room with my throat sore, dry and burning, like someone had shoved an entire bag of vinegar-soaked cotton balls down it. I want to tell you about how I was moving my fingers and wiggling my toes, and how the doctors and nurses standing around me were so impressed with this. I'm not sure why blinking my eyes earned a round of applause and why it mattered that I was peeing into a bag, but to these people, it was like they were witnessing a true miracle. Some of the nurses were even crying. I want to tell you a story about how you can suddenly wake up to find yourself living a life you were never supposed to live. It could happen to you, just like it happened to me. And you could try to get back the life you think you deserve to be living, just like I did. There you have it. Come to the library, check it out, get on Facebook, get on Twitter at HDHS Media Center, and let us know what you think about Noggin. See you next Wednesday.